国家主席习近平十五号下午在人民大会堂东门外广场举行仪式，欢迎厄立特里亚国总统伊萨亚斯·阿费沃基对我国进行国事访问。中共中央政治局委员、中央外事工作委员会办公室主任王毅、国务委员秦刚等出席欢迎仪式。陪同伊萨亚斯访华的有外交部部长、财政与国家发展部部长、贸易与工业部部长等。伊萨亚斯在习近平陪同下检阅中国人民解放军仪仗队。两国元首回到检阅台，观看仪仗队分列式。随后，军乐团进行行进吹奏表演。The Eritrean president His Science Afiwerki has laid a wreath at the monument to the people's heroes at Tiananmen Square in Beijing. He is currently on a state visit to China. Sheng Yibing has more. Here we are at the Grand Tiananmen Square in Beijing. The Eritrean president His Science Afiwerki has laid a wreath at the monument to the people's heroes at the square. Chinese Vice Foreign Minister Sun Weidong was with him for this solemn ceremony. President Isias and his delegation paid tribute to the people's heroes while they visited the site, and the guard of honor of the Chinese People's Liberation Army stood beside to show respects for the president and his delegation. President Isias arrived in Beijing yesterday, kicking off an official visit to China. He will be welcomed by Chinese President Xi Jinping. The both leaders will hold talks and exchange views on international and regional issues of common interest. They are expected to make new strategic guidance on the development of bilateral relations. May 24 this year marks the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic ties between both countries. And Chinese Foreign Ministry says China's invitation to President Isias to pay a state visit to China on this occasion fully demonstrates the great importance that China. Attaches to the strategic partnership with Eritrea, and to strengthening solidarity, cooperation, and the common development with African countries, including Eritrea. Zheng Yibing, CCTN, Beijing.